Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. And some are not about the Lazarus, and the Lazarus, and the Lazarus, the elders of Israel being the apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labach, Yahshua, Shirala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at your game to the lesson, Baharukha, Chorah, Shalmaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And uh, the title of this video. It's going to be something along the lines of shit will hit the fan, S-H-T-F, out of nowhere, right? Shit can hit the fan at any given moment. And it's going to catch these people off guard. It's going to catch these people unaware. Let's start off. Matter of fact, let's start off with that in the Gospels. Since we got this image. To illustrate how these people is not looking for the end. How these people don't have a, they, these people don't have a clue of what's going on. These people don't have a clue that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is bringing great judgment upon this place. This is the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Only the father knows the exact hour that this place Will go down. Completely wiped out. Only the father knows. The exact time. When he's going to send. The only begot. His only begotten son. Yahweh Shai Mashiach. But. He has given us signs. Of that time. As it says in the book of Matthew. The 24th chapter. Er, earlier in this chapter. The disciples came to Yahweh Shai privately and asked him, What shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? We see all those signs taking place. We see the earthquakes in diverse places. We see famine. All right. We see pestilence. We see wars and rumors of wars. We see division. All the prophecies is happening. All the prophecies is taking place and soon they'll, they'll all fully be fulfilled. Every jot and every tittle. Okay? So we know that we're in that time. I can't tell you an exact date, an exact hour, the exact month. I can't tell you that. Nobody can tell you that. Yahweh Shai doesn't even know. We just read. Only the Father knows. And that shows you the difference between the Father and the Son. But we do know that it will happen in this lifetime. Ezekiel, been quoting it a lot. The Lord will, in your days will the Lord speak a word and perform it. The word has been spoken. Now we're seeing the word be performed. Also in Matthew, the 24th chapter. This gospel shall be preached in all the world, and then shall the end come. Have they not heard? Yes, verily their sound went to all the world, and to all the earth. So the gospel has been preached. The gospel has gone global. So we're living in the end of the time of the Gentiles. We're living in the end of the time of our enemies ruling. And after this, the Lord will no more carry us away into captivity. This is the end of our punishment. The scriptures say that affliction shall not rise a second time. This is it. And we're preparing properly. For the prophecies that soon to fully take place. We're seeing glimpses of we're seeing glimpses of the MOTB. Right? With the Neuralink, with the CBDC, 
with that Jamba Juice, how they forced everybody to get get that junk, get jabbed up. We're seeing glimpses of, you know, the wars, the World War Three. Iran and Israel going at it. Russia and America talking shit. They're constantly talking about new nuclear missiles being created. So we're seeing glimpses of all the prophecies, of all the signs. Again, that's how we know that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he, be, which he made. Back in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. But of the day and hour knoweth no man, but... Uh, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Just like you see on the screen. Caught up in their own lives. Eating, drinking, giving in marriage. Meaning what they was giving into their pleasures. They was giving into their pleasures. It says that men shall be lovers of them own, of their own selves. So when that destruction comes, it's going to catch these people unaware. As it says in the book of Sirach. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. These people are secure, especially over here in the Western Hemisphere. Which is where the destruction is coming. The destruction is coming to America. The destruction, the main destruction is coming to Babylon. This place is going to be completely and utterly destroyed. This place is going to be completely and utterly destroyed. And these people have no clue. Actually, these people, they, they, they've heard the warning. Again, have they not heard? Yes, verily their sound went to all the earth. They see us out there on the highways and byways. They see the signs. They hear the message. But they ignore it. And they continue to go about their wicked ass lives. Preparing for graduation. Preparing for baby showers. Preparing for marriages. Preparing to have a hot girl summer. Vacations. They're looking to the future of America. America has no future but, but to be destroyed. But to be deleted. But to get judged by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The future of America is to be overthrown just like how Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrown. That's the future of this place. And if you're not right, if you're not an Israelite, you don't even have a chance. And if you are an Israelite and you're not focusing on getting right with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you shall surely be put to death. Luke 13 and 3, lest ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You're going to perish in the wrath of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh You'll be shown no mercy in these last days. Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. As for the others that don't have the mark of exemption, let not your eyes spare, neither show any peep, neither show any pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. The slain of the Lord shall be many. There be many more of them that perish than of them that shall be uh, than of them that shall be saved. Why is there many more of them that's gonna be that's gonna perish? Because they didn't repent. It says when the doors of repentance was opened unto them, they despised it. Instead of using this grace period, grace period is a time given to get right, to get your shit together. But instead of them using this time to get their shit together, to get right, they're using it to be more wicked. They're going further into debt.
And in your security, as we just read in that um, Sirach, suddenly destruction is going to come upon you. Suddenly the wrath, the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to come upon you. And it's going to be without remedy. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 11. It says, I start at 10. It says, they are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them. Our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're, they're, all in, they're, they're into all type of idolatry. Serving all type of false gods. Buddhist, Muslim. Jesus Christ. These are false gods. They're not serving the one true God, the one true power. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And we're telling them, look, you're going off. Allah ain't got no power. Allah is not the real God. Buddha's big fat ass, damn sure. Don't got no power. Jesus you, it, it is a fake name. But they what? They refuse to hear the words of the prophets. And because they refuse to hear the words of, Yahweh, of, of the prophets of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and they misuse his messengers. The Lord's going to bring evil upon them. Ezekiel the seventh chapter. Evil and only evil behold is come to end is come to end is come and watch it for thee. Behold it is come. And they, it says back in Jeremiah chapter uh, 11 and verse 10, finishing up, it says, And they went after other gods to serve them, the house of Israel and the house of Judah, all 12 tribes, southern and northern kingdoms, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, have broken my covenant which I made with their fathers. Therefore, so because of that, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. I'll bring evil upon them. And you're not going to be able to escape it. It's going to be too late. Now's the time. Now's the time to escape. It says, it says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple passeth on and is punished. All these, see, all these simple people is going to be violently punished. All these simple people is going to be violently punished. Since we're in Jeremiah, let's go to Jeremiah chapter... Jeremiah 49. No, is it 51? Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 45. My people, go ye out of the midst of her. It's a lot here. Drop the page. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 45. My people go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. And it's not talking about get a passport. The whole earth is going to rock to and fro like a drunkard. You don't want to be. You don't want to be on the earth when the Lord pours out his wrath. The island is going to move out of his place. It says that the Lord is going to terribly shake the earth. The only real safe place is the chariot, so-called UFOs, so-called UAPs. In the book of Isaiah, I want to say it's the 26th chapter, the last couple of verses, it says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers while the indignation pass for a little moment. The chambers is the chariots. So-called UFOs, so-called UAPs. The indignation is the missiles. We hope to be standing upon the sea of glass. Revelations, the 15th chapter. In them chambers, in them chariots, with new bodies. Only with your eyes shall you see and behold the reward of the wicked. Psalms 91. Okay, it says back in Jeremiah. 51 and verse 46. 
It says, and less Unless your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land, a rumor shall both come one year and after in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land. Ruler against ruler. All right, and we, we've been hearing the rumors. We've been hearing all the rumors year after year. But suddenly, shit's just going to pop off. Rumors have truth to it. Let's get that in the NLT. This is Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 46. In the NLT, it says, but do not panic. Don't be afraid when you hear the first rumor of approaching forces. For rumors will keep coming year by year. Violence will erupt in the land as the leaders fight against each other. So war is just going to suddenly erupt. Death. Destruction. Is going to suddenly erupt. Life as you know it. And your weak ass daily routine. You caught up in. That's all going to come to a halt. It's not going to be no work. I says in the book of Isaiah. It's not going to be no work for Egypt. You're not just going to be able to fr uh, freely, you know, walk around in Babylon. Just like, again, in the time of the Demic. Just like in the time of the Demic. Motherfuckers had curfews. And that was just the prelude of what's going to take place. That was just a practice run. That was just a practice one run to see how people react. They got the information they need now. That was all a part of their plan. If setting your ass up. And you people was coddled back to sleep. You people think shit is straight now. Even in, when that shit happened in 2020, that shit was out of nowhere. We seen it coming. It happened in China. We seen that shit coming. I know before that in 2019, in the later months in 2019, the Apostle Tahar, I remember he was going heavy on quarantines. There was different ships being quarantined. He was going heavy on pestilence breaking out. And 2020 happens. The C-19. Everything shut down. Can't leave your house. Can't go to the grocery store. It's going to be a lot worse the second go around. The internet's going to be off. You're not just going to be able to call 911. You're not just going to be able to call your loved ones. That's when shit's going to be really real. That's when they going that's when these people gonna wish they would have took heed to the men out there on the highways and byways warning about the coming calamity, about the coming destruction. And it's gonna be too late. It says in the book of Second Edges, the Lord has given straight commandment what you should do to avoid punishment. These people not taking heed to that commandment. These people not taking heed to the prophets, the messengers. Therefore, what? They're going to be severely and violently punished. They're going to get caught up. In the destruction that's coming. OK, let's go back and finish on that, Matthew. It's the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24. St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse. Oh, so like here. Yeah. 
38, it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall the coming of the son of man be. Majority of these people is going to be taken away in the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But the Lord's servants is going to be sheltered. The Lord's servants is going to be on that ark. The ones that's walking in fear and in faith. Is going to be covered, protected. Okay. I'll continue to read. It says. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. A lot of people is not going to make it, man. Few shall be saved. We quoted it earlier, that second hundred is the ninth chapter. Many shall perish, few shall be saved. As a drop, as a wave is greater than a drop. Majority of people of your relatives, they're, they're going to perish, man. Cousins, uncles, aunties, grandparents, your parents. The Lord said, remember Lot's wife. A lot of people's going to bug out in these last days, man. They're not going to be able to take the pressure that Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai is bringing. And that's why we must be storing up this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Why? Because that's going to keep us stable in these last days. That's what's going to be our armor, our protection in these last days. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch, therefore, for ye know not. Yeah, the other left. The, the motherfucker's going to get left behind. If you're not with it, you're going to get left behind. Remember Lot's wife. Ain't no turning back, man. We ain't looking back. We ain't looking back and getting destroyed with no bitch. Getting destroyed with anything here, man. We looking forward. We looking to the kingdom. It says that our conversation is in heaven. From whence we look for the Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Who shall change our vile bodies that it may be likened unto his glorious body. Who is able to subdue all things unto himself. Roughly, paraphr roughly paraphrasing Philippians, the third chapter, the last couple of verses. Watch therefore for ye know. Uh, she looked back. Why? Because she had pleasure in this place. She had pleasure in what the serpent offered instead of what Adam offered. And when you look at it, the, the, the uh, Adam offered way more than the serpent. We had everlasting life. If Eve would have just listened to Adam, she would have lived forever. Still, She would still be alive to this day. But through envy of the devil, death came into the world. It says through her we all die. She listened to the serpent. Thou shalt not surely die. Now look at this bitch. She's the, she's leading in all. She's leading in every negative category. The so-called black woman, Keisha and Big Shirley, on down to Maria. The Northern Kingdom women. Leading in all the negative uh, categories. She's she's the um, most single. Don't nobody want that bitch. She's too masculine. She don't listen. She don't know how to be a woman. But anyways. At any rate. Verse 42 it says. Watch therefore for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. We on our watch man. While you people is looking for to uh, the next come up, while you people is you're looking for happiness, you're trying to fall in love in Babylon, niggas trying to make themselves high value, six figures, so that you can attract whores, or so that you can get a passport, all right, and just deal with whores in a different country.
We're looking for something way greater than what this place has to offer. What did Kanye West say? He sold his soul to the devil. It was a crappy deal. At least it came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. Little bullshit ass toys in this in this world. Bullshit ass possessions in this world. Look what that nigga got. A baby mama. He sold his soul to get a baby mama. The bitch don't listen to him. She's a whore. Exploiting their daughter. Got her all on TikTok. He has no control. The nigga's on child support. Nigga could have stayed in the hood for that. He's all bugged out. That's everybody in this world participating in the ways of Babylon. Following after the ways of the serpent. We're not dealing with the devil, man. We locked in with our God, with our power, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. We submitting to him. We bowing down to him. We don't want nothing from this world. We content with our daily bread. Enough to get by. Enough to take care of our daily necessities as we wait for the return of our king, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. The Redeemer of the elected the nation of Israel. Okay, let's continue to read. I said on that Matthews, I can keep going, but we'll continue to keep pushing. I got a couple more precepts I want to hit. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse. I'm going to just hit these precepts because uh, this other phone I'm using is, you know, running dead. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 11. It says, I start at verse 10. It says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. This place is perverted. This place is disgusting. Look around you. Motherfucking Decepticons all around you. You don't even know if that, that's a bitch. It's a, it's a nigga with all type of surgery done. A nigga with big ass titties. A niggas, a, there's niggas walking around with BBLs. And a wig. We got to get the fuck out of here, man. I was watching the, uh, the other brother, Mike Kaala, out there in Cali. He said he was, you know, uh, on the job and shit, making moves. And it's just some nigga woman with fucking blue hair. These bitches don't understand how stupid they look. Stop giving these bitches attention. This is a grown ass woman with blue hair. Grown ass women with green hair looking like a black ass joker. Grown as hell painting on their face. Big ass goddamn eyelashes. Snuffleupagus eyelashes. And you and then, and then there's niggas trying to holler at her, man. But anyways, the bitch is walking around with her old ass out. With all type of craters. More craters than the moon. Cellulite. Now imagine if the brother had his seat. There was children there. We, bruh. There's no way. There's no way we got 10 more years. I was watching another video. To, um, I, I watched a, just a little bit of the Elder Apostle Ramon's video. He did it yesterday or a couple days ago. Something is stew, stewing up. Then I was watching uh, the Elder Brother Amawan Gabar. I was watching a video he did in response to that. You know, these preppers, they, they're prepping. You know, they're looking at everything and they're, they're thinking, yeah, 2030. Shit could pop off. 2035, shit could pop off. They're preparing, you know, for, I can't remember the exact words the dude said, but he said, maybe we've given them too much time. Like, this shit can happen sooner than when we believe, and that's pretty much where this video stems, stems from. You know, I got caught up in work, so I wasn't able to finish the video. But he was like, it was a prep, he's like, yeah, maybe, you know, things can happen quicker than we, when we think. 
Well, that's what the scriptures say. It says salvation draw off nigh. Redemption is nearer than we believe. And destruction and redemption is synonymous. There's some people that's destined to be destroyed. And there's very, very few people that's destined to be saved, to be redeemed. It says in the book of wisdom, Solomon says was accepted the salvation of the righteous, the righteous and the destruction of the enemies. Talking about in ancient Egypt, Israel was being saved. Their enemies, the Egyptians, was being destroyed. It's going to be the same thing here in America. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be saved. And everybody that's joined onto Egypt, being America, is going to be destroyed. Including Israelites. Including guys with fringes. Including guys calling themselves teachers. The time is short. The time is short. Don't be like these people, man. Don't get coddled back to sleep like these people, man. There's no way this world is going to continue in this direction. Something's going to happen and it's going to happen out of nowhere. It's going to happen on a sudden. So we got to stay on our toes. Stay woke. And not like how these fucking people think. First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. Walk as the children of light. Walk as the sons of light. Children of the day. We are not in darkness. We are not asleep. They are asleep, sleep in the night. Our eyes is open. We're illuminated. We the light of this dark world. That's coming to an end. In a goddamn suit, marrying some whore. Who's going to divorce you? Divorce rate is in America is damn, I think, I believe it's about 50%. Around there. Double check the numbers. All right? And it's even higher when you marry a black bitch. Seventy to eighty percent of the time, she's divorcing you, taking your ass to court, trying to take everything you got. Fuck these whores. We we'll have all all the wives we want in the kingdom and righteousness, virgins, good clean girls. Not gonna have to worry about a bit a sign a prenup. We're not gonna have to worry about a bitch divorcing us. Just because she's just because she didn't she woke up on the wrong side of the bed. She not feeling you no more. Cause you don't fucking watch Netflix shows with her all goddamn night and all goddamn day. So she goes and blows another nigga. Then takes you to court and takes half your shit and takes your children. This wicked ass place, man. Esau and Eve and all these goddamn heathens, they gotta go. Alright? Big Shirley, Keisha got to go. Pookie, Ray Ray got to go. <laughs> Let's go from there. Um, Osalaki, Isaiah chapter 47. In verse 11, therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee. And talking about America. Evil is going to come upon America. Mischief is going to come upon America. Babylon, the so-called great, shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. Ain't going ain't, ain't to be nothing you can do to stop it. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. Which thou shalt not know. Woo, let's read that in the NLT. Isaiah 47 and 11. So disaster will overtake you. And you won't be able to charm it away. Ain't gonna be nothing you can do to stop. The wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Calamity will fall upon you. And you won't be able to buy your way out. A catastrophe will strike you suddenly. One for which you are not prepared. None of these people is prepared for the catastrophe, for the disaster, for the evil that's going to strike this place. Only the prophets, only the servants of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that's been warning the world that this is soon to take place. 
Anything can happen, man. Let the lights go out. Let the lights go out in this bitch. And watch how quickly shit escalate. That escalated quickly. They said the grid is as vulnerable as it's ever been. The power grid. Collapse. Power grid. Oh, cyber attack. Whatever the fuck they gonna say. Now there's no trucks moving. Now there's no gas stations operating. Now the phones don't work. Now your dumbass can't get on Instagram or Twitter. Now you can't contact anybody. We're going to see how independent you are. We're going to see how strong you are when that takes place, man. Let's go from there. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 10, 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, they, not, they, they refuse to pay attention to the Lord's instructions. And his instructor and his instructors, which is the men on the highways and byways, verse ten, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. I want to hear lies, sweet lies. We ain't gonna tell you none of that. We gonna tell you the whole truth for nothing but the truth, rightly dividing it. Get you out of the way, turn ye turn aside out of the path, cause the holy one of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression, trust in America and perverseness, the wickedness of this place and stay thereon and lean upon it. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Let's read that in NLT. Calamity will come upon you suddenly. Like a bulging wall that bursts and falls. In an instant, it will collapse and come crushing down. Come crushing. Come crushing you. Smashing your ass into pieces. Everything you worked for. Everything you built up. Everything that you thought was straight. Was good. Was secure. It's all going to be broken in an instant. Your little job you were so proud of. Your little degree. Oh, that's not going to mean nothing. All right. We'll get one more. This is the book of 2nd Ezra. Chapter 6. And verse 22. And suddenly. Let's get that word sudden. Sudden on the etym online online etymology dictionary, unexpected, unforeseen, which we can see it. Again, a prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself. But the simple passeth on and is punished. We just read that in Isaiah it says that say to the seers, see not, so the seers can see, the prophets can see. But since you didn't take heed to the seers, since you mocked and scoffed. The prophets, your simple ass is going to be punished. It's going to be unforeseen to you. It's going to be unexpected to you. Isaiah 33, it says, fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Happening all at once and without notice. We put you on notice, but you didn't take heed. So when it happens, the blood's going to be off the hand of the prophets and upon your own head. It says immediate. Come or go up stealthily. It's going to creep on you niggas. Ooh, it says uh, from the adjective, but it's obsolete, save for all of a sudden, sooner than expected. Redemption is nearer than we believe. And the destruction of this place is going to happen sooner than these, these people expect. Cause this proverb to cease. 
right? And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. The full storehouses, your Walmarts, Costco, Sam's Club, Jewels, Publix, all these, whatever the fuck you got, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, all that shit's going to be empty on the sudden. It don't take much, man. They call it disaster buying or panic buying is what it's called. Or the people panic, so they just rush the stores. Bank runs, right? People just panic, rush the banks, try to get as much money out as they can. You're not going to have no access to your money. Bragging about what tax bracket you in, you dumb Dumbass fucking people, man. I'm so sick of these dumbass people. I'm so sick of this place, man. We're going to rejoice at the fall of, of, of our enemies. Laugh at your calamity and when your fear come upon you, as it says in the book of Proverbs, man. Okay? It says, And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains, people are going to be so scared and so caught up in fear. They're going to betray each other. They're going to kill each other. It says the springs of the fountains shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run. It's not going to be no running water. Everything's going to shut down. Not like 2020, them with little weak-ass shutdowns. Oh, Walmart closed early. No, it's going to be, no. It ain't going to be no Walmart. Walmart's going to be martial law. M a martial law camp. A prison. Okay? So as these people is fucking, fucking caught up, building up your My Player on 2K, waiting for uh, the next Grand Theft Auto to come out, Going to concerts, goddamn sexy red concerts. Caught up in uh, celebrity gossip, destruction is coming. Caught up in your own wicked life, destruction is coming. So having that said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachorash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rachachorash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth. And teach the word correctly and directly. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and rule well. Shalom wa habla shasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom wa brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is nearer than we believe. Shalom.